Magandang araw po sa lahat. Welcome sa aking channel, It's All About Finance. I am Rhea Jane Agaton Bersamin, a certified public accountant and a financial educator. I will discuss the Kaiser long-term care product. But before that, please like on this video and subscribe on this channel. Kaiser long-term is one of my investment portfolio, my best investment ever. Purpose of this video is to have a detailed explanation about this product since this covers a very broad scope. First, kilalanin natin si Kaiser. The company name is Kaiser International Health Group Incorporated. Si Ms. Sharon Coneta ang ambassador ni Kaiser. Tama nga naman siya, kasi kung love natin ang family natin, the more that we take care of ourselves. The company is registered in the Department of Health of DOH and also registered in the Insurance Commission as HMO or Health Maintenance Organization. See insurance.gov.ph at makikita natin under HMO si Kaiser. Dito natin ma-check kung legit o legal ba ang mga companies na pinapasukan natin. Ito yung registration ni Kaiser sa IC. So may policy reserves ito na nire-regulate para always capable ang Kaiser to pay sa mga members. Registered din tayo sa SEC on June 8, 2004 with authorized capital stock of 160 million pesos. Importanteng malaman natin ang date of incorporation ng isang kumpanya. Under SEC, si Kaiser, kasi corporation. DTI naman kung i-check nyo ang mga sole proprietorship o partnership ng mga establishments. More about the company details on its official website, kaiserhealthgroup.com. So ito yung Kaiser website. You can check there about the company, products, accredited clinics and hospitals, contact numbers, and members login. Pag may Kaiser ka na, makalagin ka dito. Makikita mo yung account mo. Pwede ka makapay online or upload your deposit slip. Ma-view and print yung contract and benefits Anytime, anywhere. May testimonials din dito sa mga clients na thankful talaga sa Kaiser. Kaiser products are categorized into three. First is short-term care. May individual, family health care, group or company care. Ang Kaiser long-term naman ay individual plan available from 10 to 60 years old. 7 year to pay lang yan. Then 3 in 1 savings program na. May life insurance, health care and investment in one. I will focus my discussion on this product. Senior care plan is available from 61 to 100 years old. Explain ko lang saglit yung difference ng short term versus long term. Individual, family, group, senior care are renewable every year subject to price changes. Increasing siyempre yan every year. While sa long term, fixed premium yan every year. We also have an option to pay spot cash for higher maturity value at bigger discounts. Pag short term, may tendency na hindi na i-approve next year, especially kung marami ng claims. Protection din kasi yan sa company. Well, sa long term, one time lang yung approval ng policy. Then, there is no life insurance for short term, but meron namang konting financial assistance. And like sa long term, na may life insurance, kaya wala nang babayaran in case of death or permanent disability. Sa short term, kapag hindi nagamit, walang return of premium. Sa long term, 85% return of premium kapag hindi nagamit ang free hospitalization within 7 years. At ito pa yung maganda. Upon full payment, nagiging investment na siya. And it will accumulate with interest compounding annually. Nasa separate video ko ang explanation ng mga short-term care products. Malaking tulong talaga pag may healthcare. Sa hospital bills, las muna yung PhilHealth, saka ni si Kaiser. Wala nang babayaran pag malaki ang plan benefit kaysa sa bills. So, sa Kaiser Long Term na 3-in-1, dito nakalagay yung investment natin sa mga blue chip companies. Very stable, prominent, at malalaking mga companies. Kaya naman, Kaiser stood with the test of time. The only healthcare with lots of medical centers and continuously growing. Ito din yung latest service sa Philippines na tinatawag ng retirement crisis. Makikita dito na kailangan talaga nating paghandaan ang retirement years. Unlike in other countries na mandatory talaga yung healthcare or other investments for retirement. So sa atin, 2% lang ang financially independent. Dependent sa charity yung iba. A lot are still working and majority dependent sa children. Ito naman yung solid financial foundation na discuss ko ito thoroughly sa separate video ko. You may check po to understand better the financial concepts on this. So discuss ko lang to dito briefly. Ito yung tamang pag-build ng ating wealth. May level 1 of investing and ito naman yung level 2 of investing. Kadalasan kasi, inuuna yung level 2, ang dali kayang maubos niyan kapag walang level 1. Kaya, we should save first for our healthcare needs. Kasi health is wealth. 
and lahat pwede magkasakit. Pag may healthcare tayo, di na natin kailangan magtiis sa mga ward at public hospitals. We can have better options sa mga private hospitals para komportable naman tayo at sa mga nagbabantay sa atin. So, napaka-importante talaga ng healthcare kasi medical cost doubles every 5 to 7 years. And just one critical illness may lost all your assets and investments. Second is protection or life insurance. Insure our lives first kaysa sa mga material na bagay. Kasi isa lang yung life natin at tayo ang kumakayod para makabili ng assets. We have ways to compute this. You may check sa solid financial video ko or contact me for more accurate value. Third is eliminate debts. Kasi interest on debts is money working against us. So, andun din sa IMG videos ko and Solid Financial Foundation yung tips nito. Then, of course, importanteng i-build yung emergency funds para hindi tayo mabaon sa utang. Dapat 3 to 6 months yan ng ating monthly income or monthly needs. And we have investments. O ito yung tinatawag na money working for us. Ito yung need natin, especially for retirement, na hindi na tayo able to work. Kaya, increase our cash flow while able pa tayo to work for money and manage our finances properly following the solid financial foundation. Please check my IMG videos for more info. Ito naman yung sample ng mga sources. For healthcare, we have Kaiser Long-Term Care. We also have Kaiser Short-Term Care. And for IMG members, we have free healthcare IMG benefit yan. Then, we have MB Life and Fidelity Life for life insurance. Meron ding life insurance si Kaiser Long-Term Care. Yung emergency funds natin, pwede natin ilagay sa banks or sa mutual funds. Redeemable naman yan anytime. Investment din natin yan and ma-appreciate mo talaga yung growth pag long-term. We can also have real properties for rental purposes or MB Life and other passive income. And of course, may investment din ang ating Kaiser Long-Term Care Plan. Kaya nga tinatawag itong complete financial plan. What if we die too soon? We have life insurance. Or should we live too long? We have investment and long-term care. Ito yung sample table at age 22. We have a 7-year plan at meron din tayong spot cash o one-time payment. Ito naman yung pricing information. May monthly mode, discounted naman yung quarterly, semi-annual, and annual mode. 2 months discount pag annual. Pag spot cash naman, 25.28% yung discount. Lahat ng insurance may policy fee. 500 pesos lang per year si Kaiser. So, 3,500 yan pag spot cash. Ito naman yung plan type. Long-term care benefit ito kasi upon maturity, makonvert yan into cash. Kaya the higher the plan, the better. Term insurance is the value na receive in case of death or disability. That's times 2 pag accident ang cost ng death. The plan is automatically paid and ma-transfer ang plan sa number 1 beneficiary. Plus, the value of investment upon maturity, which is 20 years. Ang retirement funds nito ay millions kahit sa pinakamura na plan. So, later malalaman natin kung bakit naging millions ito kahit 100,000 plus lang yung ini-invest. Higher syempre yung value sa spot cash by 12.7%. Explain ko naman later yung values ni column B, C, and D. Bale, pinakita lang dyan yung 10% annual increase and compounding yan. Meaning, principal plus interest times the interest na 10%. Kaya, palaki talaga yung value. Ito yung sinasabi ni Albert Einstein na 8th wonder of the world. Kasi, mag-save ka lang ng ilang years, masyadong lalaki yung value due to compound interest. And doon sa IMG videos ko ang about sa Rule 72 na discover niya. And to better explain this further, let us use Plan K100. Kasi 1 million plus yung maturity nito and we will use age 22 kasi ito yung general age na we started earning income. Ang daming naghinayang kasi hindi nila ito alam at fully paid na sana sila ngayon. Yung iba naman hindi na qualified sa age kasi up to 60 years old and 5 months lang ang Kaiser Long-Term Care. Now, let's go to the benefits. Hatiin natin sa tatlong periods ang timeline. 1 to 7 years, ito yung accumulation period or paying period. After accumulation period, ang 8 to 20 years. Ito yung 13 years na waiting period. 20 years and beyond, ito na yung tinatawag na extended period or long-term care period. So, discuss natin isa-isa ang benefits during these periods. 
By the way, kahit wala pang one year, may life insurance coverage na tayo. So kung kakabayad lang natin ng monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual, may life insurance benefit na ito. Ito yung waiver of installment due to death or disability. The plan is good as fully paid na. The beneficiaries will receive 450,000 for plan K100. That's times 2 pag accident yung cause of death. So 900,000 yun. And transfer of plan to number 1 beneficiary. Kung annual mode naman or after 1 year of payment, aside from life insurance, entitled na sa additional benefits na dental and health or medical benefits. Ito yung life insurance benefits na na-explain ko kanina and ito yung percentage of claims depending on the case. Ito naman yung dental benefits. Free lahat ito. Unlimited simple tooth extraction, unlimited temporary filling, oral prophylaxis per year, consultation and dental examinations, and a lot more. Marami tayong Kaiser accredited dental clinics and free ang lahat ng mga yan. Kaya mainam na i-avail natin kahit daw ubusin pa lahat ng ngipin, intact pa rin yung investment natin. And we have medical benefits. Free lang din lahat ng mga ito. Free annual physical exam or once a year na chest x-ray, CBC, fecalysis, urinalysis, then ECG and pop smear for 35 years old and above or as required. Then inpatient or hospitalization benefit for plan K100, 60,000 pesos yan per year. Tama, per year kapag long term. Unlike sa short term, na per illness yung coverage. Yun nga lang, lifetime magbabayad. Well, sa long term, 7 years lang magbayad. Lifetime benefits na. At may return of premium kapag hindi nagamit ng free hospitalization within 7 years. Guaranteed na yan, kahit avail pa natin yung ibang mga free benefits. Maraming nagtatanong bakit sa Philippines lang daw ang mga accredited clinics and hospitals ni Kaiser. Ganun talaga pag HMO. Ang healthcare kasi regulated yan per country. Kahit healthcare niyo sa abroad, hindi pwede sa other countries. Pero through reimbursement naman kapag na-hospitalize sa non-accredited hospitals, we can process online or through Kaiser or IMG offices. Maganda lang pag-accredited kasi deduct yan sa hospital bills after ng PhilHealth deductions pa. Then take note, pre-existing or dreaded or critical illnesses are not yet covered during this accumulation period. Again, protection ng company yan and sa ating investments. Covered na yan after full payment. Now, let's have the benefits after full payment or after the accumulation period. And dun pa rin yung life insurance, dental, and medical benefits. At meron na tayong Kaiser Visa Card or Permanent Card. Ito na yung gamitin natin for inpatient and outpatient benefits. Covered na yung mga pre-existing, dreaded, or critical illnesses. Pati maternity claims, wala nang limitation sa availment. But the amount of coverage is based on fund value. So dito, naging investment na ang total savings natin sa Kaiser. Ang yearly health benefit is 10% of the plan type. So 100,000 times 10% is 10,000. Compounding ang 10% every year. Carry over muni natin yan. At ito naman yung dividends. Kasi ini-invest nga ito sa mga blue chip companies. Ito yung earnings natin sa stock market. So, ito yung total healthcare natin for the 8th year. Kahit maubos yan in that year, mag-grow pa rin ito in the following years. Continue lang natin yan onwards and in case ma-hospitalize in any of these periods, itong total yearly health benefits ang limit. If healthy naman tayo o dahil short-term healthcare ang gamit natin, especially may free healthcare tayo sa IMG, investment lang natin ito. So, in the 20th year or upon maturity, ito na yung total accumulated interest, 269,750 pesos, nasa column C yan sa Kaiser Table. And ang total accumulated dividends nasa column D yan sa Kaiser Table is 446,419 pesos, plus 100,000 pesos na nasa column A or plan type. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na guaranteed cash kahit maubos pa lahat ng value sa hospitalization. And this 350,000 pesos o column E is another guaranteed amount in case hindi magamit yung free hospitalization within 7 years. That's 85% of the contract price na 411,750. Sum up lang natin lahat yan, we arrive at a total maturity value of 1,166,169. So ito ulit yung table natin and ang mga columns na na-discuss. So upon maturity, we have the following options. First, withdraw natin yung entire amount. 
Second, withdraw only a portion of the amount and the remaining value as investment na mag-earn ng 10% compounding annually. Or, pwede natin i-retain ang whole amount for future purposes. Now, let's go to the extended period or age 42 and onwards. For example, ni-retain natin yung whole amount at age 60, 6.4 million na ang value ng money. At mag-interest yan ng 640,000 sa isang taon. 10.4 million naman ang value at age 65 at 1 million ang increase nito in 1 year. Ito yung tinatawag na money working for you, living with interest na tayo dito. So ganito ang values pag plan K100 na 58,821.43 ang annual. Kung medyo mahal naman, meron naman tayong mga cheaper plans for ages 10 to 40, 2,647 per month or 88 pesos a day lang, or 74 pesos a day ang equivalent pag annual mode. Very affordable, di ba? For 41 to 50 years old, 3,529 per month naman ang pinakamura. And 51 to 60, it's already 4,412 per month. Medyo mahal na, kasi malapit na kasi mag-retire. Kaya lagi namin sinasabi, the earlier, the better talaga. Again, pay only 10 months pag annual mode. May spot cash din tayo, 166,140 sa pinakamura na plan that is 25.28% less compared to monthly mode. Kung madelay naman tayo sa pagbayad, may 30-day grace period ang Kaiser. Actually, 30 days yung grace period as to healthcare side, then 60 days yung grace period as to life insurance. We can check naman sa Kaiser portal natin whether active pa yung account. Otherwise, kailangan i-reinstate or i-redate natin ang plan. We have 2 years grace period kapag nag na tayo sa pagbayad. Mas magandang i-redate na lang kasi 300 pesos lang yung redating fee, ma-move nga lang yung maturity period. Kaysa naman i-reinstate, babayad tayo kung ilang months tayo nag plus surcharges pa. Meron din tayong family assistance program, pwedeng mapagamit yung Kaiser plan sa iba. Ito po yung guidelines. Ito naman yung mga bank accounts kung saan pwedeng i-deposit yung Kaiser payments natin. Pwede sa International Marketing Group na bank accounts or pwede naman sa Kaiser Bank accounts. Copy nyo lang tong link sa browser nang makita nyo ang mga sample quotations ng iyong age at ang gusto nyong mga benefits. The link is also available below sa description and sa comments. Madali lang lumipas ang 7 years and we can have a lot of ways para ma-afford ito. Sabi nga ng sikat na investor na si Jack Ma, you will not turn bankrupt because of buying insurance. But you will cause your loved ones to turn to bankrupt if you don't. Ang sabi ko naman, start planting money now while you still can and get this best investment ever. Thank you po sa pakikinig and I hope you learned something on this video. Feel free to share to your friends and please don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless!